Today's epic captain's blog was made possible by a grant from Paul Plusa. If you want to be one of the cool kids, be like Paul. Get in the Patreon below, help out. Thank you, Paul, for being awesome. This is the top of the hole at the shell. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So the crossbars are different on that side. I don't know why. I'll look at it. I'm just telling you to take the off of those. This needs a little tweaking. Um, this is when we need the mini sledge. Hammer and two by four. All right. 
Yeah. Now we do the eight. No, it's the other. Or the ten. Now we do the ten.
and we're building the helicopter. We're going to be building an 8 foot here where I'm standing. This is a 10 foot. And since the distance from this tower to that tower is 8 feet, we lined it up with this tower and that tower, which is also 8 feet, though this 8 feet is ever so slightly bigger than that 8 feet. And we'll be connecting these together to add a little bit of lateral stability. So that's the plan. This gives us a set of pallet rack inside the cage, which is going to be used for a lot of supplies and stuff. And out here is going to be mainly used to get rid of the island. I want to, I want to open this up and clean it off and just make this way, way nicer out here. I want to get rid of the island if at all possible. I'm going to keep the shelves along the wall, but the island's got to go. And I really need to clean up the giant mess in there. And a lot of that's going to go on shelves. Some will go to other rooms, and some will go out to members, and some might even get scrapped. I don't know. It's just a lot of cleaning it up. Oh, bullshit. What? I thought we needed one more floor. We'll need a lot more floors, but not, not right now. We're in the three here. Some of this mid, like new shelves here, you could potentially use the uh, drill lift to help bring it up. But. On the tens, on the tens, I'm going to put a. Uh, this is where we're going to store all the long stock stuff, so we can have pretty close together shelves. So let's start by putting a shelf halfway between those two down there. Because the stuff like pipe, you know, for Tesla coil, secondary coil, stuff like that, can all sit here and I can get away with that. Looks like it is mostly the lighter duty and not as much as the heavy. But with the way they're out, it's kind of hard to say. Yeah. And I'm going to put heavy things on the 8s and light things on the 10s. Alright, let's put another set of rails halfway down from here. So count the holes and put it, put it halfway. Three from 
fanno alzata.
looks like it's a different size. Yeah, they're the same height, but they're going to be in the bottom one. Yeah, it's the same One more. Chris, one more. This is it. There? Yeah. That? Yep. I'm in. Yeah, I agree. Alright, let's pop it. 
good? Good. I'm out? Out. Okay. Set it here. Have a swap out. That one's pretty shitty anyway. We'll be back.
face, but different clothing.
I'm in the back now. Yeah, me too. I need that hammer. Hammer's underneath you. I know. I need that hammer. It's underneath you. I know where it is. <laughs> no, it's somebody. Thank you. Mr. Bellatini, be anywhere else. Wow. Uh -huh. 
your safety lock in? No, it's not in at all. And where's your pins? No, like you can't get in. Just think of that's why. That's why?
Time is 20.32 hours, and we've made a dent. We got the whole gang together, and we made this, and it's cool, and I'm really quite happy with the guys. So, it's September 27th today, and it's kind of cool that we're back to this point of it's getting into winter, and we're able to do things in the high voltage that I really shouldn't set up. stop buttons and we got a whole new power supply in and 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 this is the year that I really want to do stuff and I've got so much to do I've got so many videos I want to make so many things I want to share so much I want to do and my limiting factor now is the same two problems we've always had people and funding the things I want to do in here tend to be very expensive, but it's like this. Come here and take a look at this. This, and this, and this, perfectly serviceable test code. We've had this one forever. And we built this one because we're, we're stepping and this is cool. And, and this is a, a, a beautiful setup. It's, it's very nice. And, and this is lovely. You know, it's a good solid six inch foot. It's back where we began. Project Sam. 1998 was when that started. Our first quote was a six inch. And, and I'm happy to be doing this again. I'm, I'm happy to be building this stuff. But I need to do it at the scale we want to do. I need 20 people in here. I need 20 people that want to come and design and build test coils and do tried and true stuff and do edgy new stuff and experiment and set things on fire and make mistakes and turn thousands of dollars of parts into tens of dollars of scrap. Any people, because I can't do it alone. It's too big now, and that's the reason why. Because this is cool. This is this is a beautiful quote. It's it's where we begin. But the overarching goal here is to educate, entertain, and inspire. And anybody, you watching this. Can build this. And, and I have made videos teaching people how. We're going to make a lot more videos teaching people how because I want people making these. I want you to make this in your house and, and run it in your driveway and scare the hell out of the neighbors. But it's the big stuff. It's, it's this. 
probably can't build this at home. I mean, you can. Anybody can. But realistically, if you're going to build a tester coil at home, it's probably going to be a four inch, maybe a six. Sure, there's guys that do it, but the number of people who have ever built a Tesla coil bigger than six inches is a four digit number, which is a really, really, really tiny number when you look at the grand scheme of things. The number of people who have built Tesla coils this big, that's 25 inches you can count on one hand. It's the big stuff. It's the epic scale. It's this. This one is five feet tall, by the way. I have three pipes like this. This is a, the cutoff tail. This is a test piece. I have three pieces of this pipe. They're 15 feet tall. If you're a regular viewer of the blog, you've probably seen them. And that's something I can rally people behind. That's something I can inspire people with. It's the epic scale. And that's what I want to do. I mean, yeah, I've got, I got pipe and I'm putting it on a shelf. In fact, I should, I should put that next piece on the shelf. Every time I walk by, I put this on the shelf. This is a uh, two inch. Yeah, we can, we can make coils that small. It's cool. But it's the big stuff. It's... It's the epic scale stuff that I can rally people behind. That I can say, come on guys, let's build this giant thing and let's get thousands of people to come look at it because that's... That's an, an important part. It's easy to educate. And if all I wanted to do was educate, then we'd make much easier videos. Hi, Kat. Simple educational videos are impressively cheap and easy to make. Good educational videos are expensive to make and not terribly difficult. And look at Crash Course. Crash Course makes amazing, great educational videos. They don't cost a lot of money to make. They could make them a lot cheaper than they do, but they wouldn't be as, as pretty. But it's, it's straight up education. This, right here. 15 feet of beautiful, beautiful white plastic. Waiting for wire. Now that, something that precisely three people, and two of them are dead, precisely three people in the history of mankind have built coils that big. And I want to be the fourth. And I want to share that with a team of 20 guys. And I want to make videos about that that go out to millions of people. And I want to not just educate. I want to inspire. That's the hardest part. Entertaining is not as hard as inspiration. It's harder than education, though. And I want to get people excited about science. That's, that's what the this is for. But high voltage is where we started. High voltage has always been the big thing that sets us apart as the geek. And we've spent the past two years really focusing on everything else. And that's important, and that's cool, and I like that. And we're not going to stop doing that. But I've done all of that at the expense of high voltage. I haven't touched high voltage since we cleaned up after the fire. And just the past couple days in the high voltage lab of getting to do that, of getting to like, I'm doing shit in high voltage again, and, and hanging out with Paul, building stuff, and I'm really looking forward to having Sam and Mitch in there as well. It's, it's been really cool, and it's getting me excited again. 
I love my job. I love my company. It's, it's my entire world. And I'm incredibly thankful for every day that I get to come to work and do this. But it's really nice to get back into high voltage, which is something that isn't me behind a desk writing endless proposals and begging people all day every day, because that's what I've been doing for most of the summer. You don't see a lot of blog of that because it's really fucking boring. I've tried to find a way to make entertaining office blogs and it just doesn't. And then after a whole day of that, the first thing I want to do is get the hell out of here and, and just get out on a boat or go fly something. So I'm excited about this transition into autumn and getting into high voltage and doing this stuff because it lets me make longer blogs that are more interesting. I don't know how interesting you're going to find today. It's a bunch of us lunatics putting together pallet racks, but there are those of you out there that really like watching. There's also a non-trivial portion of you that like watching fucking paint dry, so I just, I don't know. YouTube is a mystery to me. Which is impressive, because I've got like 2,000 videos out there. I want you if you're interested in Tesla coils and high voltage and all of that, to come be a part of this. I want to build a team of weirdos and lunatics and smart, motivated people to focus in the high voltage lab. I don't just want to build Tesla coils and impulse generators and, 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 and. I want to combine the efforts of some really smart people out there. Guys like Steve Ward, who've taken the technology to levels that it had held stagnant for 20 years and they just leapt it forward. I want to be doing that stuff. And I've got the resources to do it. I've got the space to do it. I need the right guys. And if you're interested in that, I want you to get a hold of me. It's not hard, but get a hold of me because I want you here. And I don't care, I don't care. I don't care if you're black or white or straight or gay or rich or I don't give a shit, I want you. I want to give you a shot. The only limit we're gonna have on it at all is some basic age limitations because insurance companies, and I know it's bullshit. And if you're a 14 year old kid and absolutely brilliant in high voltage physics and you're passionate as hell about it, then yeah, I want to talk to you and we'll figure it out. But I need a team. It's time. It's time to put 20 people in there with a focus just on that room. And what are we going to build this week? I need funding. That's our single biggest limiting factor to anything. And there's a couple ways to fix the funding thing. That's, that's there's more than one way to skin that cat. If you are connected with a company that has a foundation, you'd be surprised. Take a look. If you if you have if you work at a place that has more than 100 people working there, they probably have some kind of philanthropic arm. Tell them about us. Send them our annual report. Send them our letter of inquiry. Send them just tell them about us. It's easy. All the information is on the website. It's not hard to find. I don't need hundreds of millions of dollars to make this work. But holy shit, what I could do with two million dollars right now. You know, I don't, I don't need a hundred million dollars. I wouldn't know what to do with it if I had it. But man, I could spend two million dollars in a day right now and just get this place up to where we need it to be. Other ways we can get funding is the IRC can help out, but I don't ask the IRC for funding unless I'm doing shows on a regular basis because it's a dick thing to do. But I'd like you to check out the IRC. Go to irc.thegeekgroup.org. The link is down below in the thing. Right next to the Patreon is another way you can help, but that doesn't go to the Geek Group. That helps me eat. But get in the IRC and tell people about the IRC. I want to build the community. We're about, this is secret. I didn't tell you about this, okay? This isn't ready for public knowledge yet. We're about to do a giant membership group, like Epic. And part of that is the IRC. I want our IRC to at least 
quintuple in volume by the time we're done. And that's a very modest goal. It sounds like a lot, but it's not that big a group of people when you really factor it all in. So if you're not familiar with IRC, go to the web portal, um, just the geekgroup.org live slash log, and down at the bottom, there's a thing to log into the IRC, and it's a web portal. So you don't have to fuck with IRC clients or any of that stuff. I get it. Some people haven't figured this out yet. Get in our, our IRC. They'll teach you how to get a client, how to hook it up, how to install it. There's people in there that I'm sure if you ask nice would actually VNC into your computer and set it up for you. But it's building that community. And if you're watching these blogs, especially if you're watching this moment of this blog, because this is at the, at the tail end of a big, long, boring blog. If you're still watching this, get in the IRC, because you're going to get blown away. I know there's a hundred of you or so who are already in there, but if you're, if you're not one of those people, get in the IRC, because we hang out, we do stuff, and it's cool, and the IRC is about to become a lot more relevant and a lot more powerful, and I'm looking forward to that. Your voice matters. If you're somebody who's in even a horrible, godforsaken place like Boise, if you're stuck an hour outside of Boise, Idaho, just hating the world, going outside, looking at the sky and screaming, WHERE IS MY GOD NOW? Because you're stuck an hour outside of Boise. I understand it. You may not necessarily be able to escape that nexus and get here. You can through the IRC. And you can get involved any day you want, any time you want. It's 24-7 and, man, it's a non-stop disco. Tell your friends. I need to build this, I need to, this, this needs to grow. We're doing amazing, we're adding more members than ever, we're making more capabilities forever, and it's getting better. One of the biggest solve, one of the biggest solutions in solving our fundraising problems is simple membership. We need twice as many to make it work now because I cut the price in half, I know, I'm a dick like that. But it's just those new members, it adds up. Every person is 20 bucks a month. I get a thousand of them, the bills are paid for a month. I get a couple thousand of them, payroll happens! Oh my god, we can give people paychecks. And you saw all the people that kicked ass today. Tell me they didn't earn a paycheck. Every one of them, man. Every one of them earned a paycheck. These guys don't want to make $500,000 a year, but man, there isn't a person here that wouldn't be tickled shitless to make 30. 30 grand a year! Man, that'd be awesome! Holy shit, what we can do. And we can do that 20 bucks a month at a time. But we need lots and lots of members to make it happen. We don't charge Tech Shop prices. So we need a lot more members than Tech Shop has to make it work. But that's, that's the absolute best way, is membership. Because we don't have to deal with grant proposals. It's us exactly fulfilling our mission, doing exactly what we say we're going to do. It's the best. Membership is the best. It's 20 bucks a month. And if you're not a member yet, I would really like it if you were. But those are the two big things we need. I need people, and I need funding. And you can solve both of those. And if you do, we'll build awesome. We'll build incredible things. We will build things that will attract hundreds of thousands of people a year to the city of Grand Rapids, maybe even Cooper's. Because I want to build Electrum scale stuff. I want to build the 13M scale stuff. I want to build the world's largest, most powerful Tessacros. I don't just want to build a Tessacro. I've done a hundred of them. I want to build the world's largest, most powerful Tessacro. And I want to share it with the public. I want you to be able to come here and use it for research. I want you to be able to write your, your thesis on some as ar arc propagation or something like that. I, I don't just want to, like, the 13M was built, shown off one time, they put it in a trailer and nobody's seen it since. And Weissach died, so it's been sold, and God knows where the hell it is now. And Electra sits on a farm out in, if it's still even in existence, I haven't heard about it in a while, but last I knew it was sitting on a farm outside of Auckland, New Zealand, in the middle of sheep fuck nowhere. And nobody ever gets to see it. I want to build these things and I want to share them with the world. And I want to teach people step by step everything we did on how we built it. Open source the whole damn thing. We, there's no place for secrets in science. Let's build this amazing stuff and let's share it with everybody that we can get to hold still for five minutes and take a look. Because we can get people curious. 
Hey, that's cool. What's that? Do? Then we can get them thinking. Then we can get them learning. And that's how we make the world a better place. Let's actually change the world by getting to play with the most fucking awesome toys ever. That's my idea of a fun day at work. Come share it with me. That's today's Captain's Blog. Today's epic Captain's Blog was made possible by a grant from Paul Plusa. If you want to be one of the cool kids, be like Paul. Get in the Patreon below, help out. Thank you, Paul, for being awesome.